Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide where we focus on the human impact of AI and what has more human impact than food. And we've talked about AI and agriculture before, but I came across a great short article that talked about the many different ways that AI is changing food production. So let's dive in. This article is out of Future Markets and it says, Ag tech encompasses a wide range of innovative solutions aimed at improving the efficiency, productivity, and sustainability of agriculture. Included in ag tech are precision farming, robotics, drones, sensors, AI, biotechnology, and vertical farming, among others. But AI affects many of those segments. We'll talk about that in a second. Increasing food production is critical as population growth continues toward 10 billion. A lot of researchers now think that global population, currently 8 billion, will peak at 10 billion and then start to go down. Because of the growing population, increasing food demand, especially as prosperity comes to more and more areas of the world, plus the difficulty of climate change on growing crops, and the need for sustainability in agricultural practices to preserve output. So let's talk about these different segments of farming and how AI is impacting each of them briefly. So the first is vertical farming. So vertical farming had a big boom a few years ago. Since then, my viewers know that venture capital funding has fallen by almost half, about 50% from the peak in 2021. That has led some of these vertical farms not to make it, but the ones that have are doing okay, and they are heavily reliant on AI. Why? Because they're using AI to manage the growing cycles. They're using AI to manage the amount of water and food given to each plant in these vertical farms. They're using AI to watch for disease using computer vision and sensors. So... There's a lot of aspects of vertical farming that are directly impacted by AI. The next one they talk about is crop biotech, which is harnessing the power of genetics to improve crop yields. By the way, some parts of the world, like the EU, ban genetically modified crops. But here in the U.S., we do not, although it has to be labeled. But AI is one of the main tools they're using to re-engineer these crops. And of course, they're using CRISPR, which is the gene editing tool. So just like with vertical farming, AI plays a key role in crop biotech. Next up, we have smart farming. We've talked about that before. That is precision agriculture, where AI is metering the dose of how seeds are placed, how fertilizer is placed, how water is placed in a field which results in huge cost savings and labor savings, all driven by AI and the advent of self-driving and now fully autonomous tractors completely enabled by AI. So in smart farming, AI is the determinative factor in it working. If you like this episode so far, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, click the link below and support us on Patreon. Your help is really, really important to us as we try to continue growing the channel. And thank you so much. Uh, next up, we've got biostimulants and biopesticides. So these are biological stimulants and pesticides rather than chemical-based pesticides and crop stimulants. The chemical-based compounds obviously have a lot of side effects, right? Some of them are poisonous. Many of them leach into groundwater. This is a real problem. These biologics do not have the side effects that the chemical fertilizers and stimulants do. Many companies now are using AI to formulate these biostimulants and biofertilizers. So AI plays a role in figuring out how to design those products that then aid in agriculture and plant growth. Next up, they mentioned natural fertilizers. That really isn't affected by AI, but it's really important because natural fertilizers were made by nature and 
They biodegrade perfectly and provide excellent nutrition to plants. So natural fertilizers are still a very, very good tool. And then last but not least of the major areas, livestock biotech. So again, this is AI driven using CRISPR to edit the genes of livestock to make them either meatier or accelerate growth. A lot of it is to accelerate growth because meat consumption, not in the United States so much, which is flatlined, but in other parts of the world that are still developing economies, meat consumption is accelerating dramatically, just like it did in the U.S., Western Europe, and many parts of Asia in the past. And then finally, they talk about some other cool things that are on the horizon in ag tech. Some of them are driven by AI. They talk about voltaics, which is stimulating plants with mild electricity. That's what that is. They talk about nanobubbles, which is another way to apply and disperse fertilizer, nutrients, water, etc., on plants. And they talk about carbon capture and utilization because obviously growing plants play a huge role globally in carbon capture and most especially the rainforest. So we've talked about this before, but to sum it up, AI is driving a complete revolution in agriculture, complete revolution. And it's good because with 2 billion more people to feed another 25% more population from where we are today. We need these tools to grow enough food so that there's not mass starvation. So thanks so much. Again, please like, subscribe, and share. Also leave comments below and support us on Patreon. Your support makes a huge difference to this channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.